Hello, welcome to episode 169 of the Go Beyond Disruption podcast. It's brought to you by the Association of International Certified Professional Accountants, the unified voice of the AICPA and SEMA. Every week on the podcast, we'll share insights from inside the accounting and finance profession that help you stay ahead of the curve, whatever part of the profession you work in. I'm Kyle Hannan. I'm based in the ARCPA and SEMA office in the heart of the City of London. Every now and then on this podcast, we'll be sharing content from online articles and blog posts, and we'll be doing this particularly where it helps us build a better picture of what's powering the global finance profession's resilience in this era of disruption. And wherever possible, we'll look at different regions of the world to help put your finger on the pulse of what's on the minds and on the desks of your professional peers in the many varied communities of our one profession. On this week, I'll walk you through a recent article on the Member Insights pages at seamaglobal.com, and it's a post which we'll link to in the episode notes if you'd like to read it for yourself. It's inspired by the fact that the pandemic is still a significant issue for many finance professionals. And as of uh, the recording date of this podcast, which is early September 2021, many in the SEMA community around the world are facing more lockdowns. However, SEMA's Southeast Asia Regional Advisory Panel has reported much cause for optimism. They say that adversity and disruption have compelled governments, business and finance leaders to develop new paths to better resilience. They say that speedy technological innovation has become the norm and that the profession's boldness has helped theirs and other businesses survive by preparing for a digital future in a way and at a speed that few could have foreseen. Now, the article focuses on how management accountants are at their best when decisions need to be made, especially when the stakes are high. And despite the fact that Southeast and Australasian economies are being impacted through continuous lockdowns and a slow vaccination rollout, finance leaders, according to the article, are still cautiously optimistic. It's written by my colleague, Andrew Harding, Chief Executive of Management Accounting at the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, so that's SEMA. Also by Venkat Ramanan, the Regional Vice President for Asia Pacific, and that's for AICPA, the Association of International Certified Professional Accountants. It begins. The issues facing businesses and economies because of the COVID-19 pandemic follow similar patterns across Southeast Asia and Australasia. However, the severity of these issues differs significantly depending on industrial sector, on country and on the depth of vaccine protection programmes. This is the picture painted by the Association's Regional Advisory Panel members from Southeast Asia and Australasia, who recently met to discuss the challenges being faced by accounting and finance professionals. So what is currently top of mind for the profession in the region? Well, they focus on four key areas. The first is that vaccination rollouts are key. Southeast Asia and Australasia has a lower rate of vaccination deployment when compared to other regions of the world. The near-term impact is hugely affecting the reopening of the leisure and travel sectors and economies that depend on tourism. However, it's more than a dependency on vaccinations that's causing concerns. Whilst many nationals have returned from overseas during the pandemic, attracting overseas talent with its fresh thinking and expertise in new and emerging practices is no longer an option in many markets. Some fear that isolated businesses and economies risk being disadvantaged on the global stage, as some markets emerge from the pandemic faster than others. A voice of concern was also aired by foreign expats who find their host nations being unfriendly. Access to the vaccine has been dependent on embassy support, as national citizens are prioritised. Concurrently, those expats who want to return to their home nation risk their work visas being revoked if they decide to leave, ruling out coming back to their role at some point in the future. The second area of concern was innovative digital business models acceleration. However, it isn't all doom and gloom. One positive outcome of the crisis has been technological acceleration. Digital transformation has proven its value and has become the new normal. Business models that have adapted quickly have been able to sustain themselves, to build resilience and sustainable profits. 
These businesses also find themselves able to seize new opportunities as markets come out of lockdown. The third factor is government policies and support critical for jobs. Government policies and economic support measures have proven critical in getting people and businesses through the crisis thus far. However, many small to medium-sized businesses remain on the brink, with only limited support available to them. And unemployment is rising fast in countries that have been reliant on tourism. Panel members felt governments will need to play a critical role in the coming months by providing subsidies as well as aid if the pace of recovery is to be accelerated in the hardest-hit economies. The article ends with a focus on growing optimism. It says that despite the region remaining in the grips of the pandemic, when the panel was asked about the future, there was some shared optimism for the months ahead. The rollout of vaccine programmes across the region was accelerating, which supports the development of herd immunity, offers up opportunities for the return of tourism, cross-border trade and travel. Out of adversity, there have been key learnings in developing resilience for governments, for business and for finance teams. And that's the end of the article. If you'd like to read it for yourself, either follow the link in the episode notes in your podcast app or go to seamaglobal.com and search for Member Insights, then filter your search results for most recent. You can find us and all the previous podcast episodes at gobeyonddisruption.com, where you can comment on our shows, share episodes with your own network, and get all our future episodes automatically as they're released completely free. You can follow us on any podcast app or social network. Thank you so much for listening. From the ARCPA and SEMA office in London, I'm Kyle Hannan. We'll be back soon with more conversations that help you and your profession to go beyond disruption. Till next time, keep listening and keep safe. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to this episode of Beyond Disruption, brought to you by the Association of International Certified Professional Accountants. Learn more about today's topic at AICPA-CIMA.com forward slash disruption. This podcast is designed to provide illustrative information with respect to the subject matter covered and does not represent an official opinion or position of the Association of International Certified Professional Accountants or any of its subsidiaries or affiliates. It is provided with the understanding that the association, its affiliates, and subsidiaries are not engaged in rendering legal, accounting, or other professional services. If such advice or expert assistance is required, the services of a competent professional person should be sought. The association, its subsidiaries and affiliates make no representations, warranties, or guarantees as to and assume no responsibility for the content or application of the material contained herein and expressly disclaim all liability for such damages arising out of the use of, reference to, or reliance on such material.